Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm sure you could see in my bio that I decided to do a skin color, skin changing foundation. Um, my inspiration idea was from this video was obviously the Jeffree Star one. He did a foundation, you could only get it online. This one I did buy in store and it clearly didn't work out for him. So I think a lot of people watched that one and it is up to you know a couple million views because they were probably hoping for one because not only did he do that, Right previously, James Charles did a video of trying to find his skin tone and for some people, like including myself, James Charles, I'm sure millions of other people cannot find a foundation that matches every part of their skin. So with the, those two inspirations in mind and seeing those videos, I thought it would be really nice if I tried to uh, test a different color foundation and see if that one would work. And the good thing about this one is that it is in stores. I got it at Walmart and so in HEB, so you can get it pretty much anywhere. You don't have to wait online and kind of guess your color and things of that sort. So I thought that would be a good idea and could help a lot of you that watched those videos. So um, I decided and I went with the two, I went with the Alme and it's, um, it looks like this. The brand is Alme. And then this one actually, as opposed to Jeffree Star's, doesn't just have one universal color. It has um, pale, light, medium, medium deep, and I think deep, deep. And then I also got the concealer to try out, which I know Jeffree Star did not do. So I thought, wait, did he? No, he didn't. He used his own concealer. So I thought this would be interesting to see too as well. To get started, I, so again, I got these two, two so I actually picked up two foundations. I picked up uh, My Best Light and Light Medium. I originally went with light medium because I was like, I'm not pale. Like, I know I'm white, but I'm not pale. And I think it's because I always go too dark on my foundation. So thinking about it more, I was thinking maybe that's not such a good idea. So I went back and I picked up the pale one because sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and look in the mirror and realize, no, you are pale. Like you are Casper the Friendly Ghost, whether you want to be or not. No matter how many spray tans I have, I'm still Casper at the end of the day. So I got these two and I was thinking for these because I do, I'm sure as y'all have seen in my other videos, I do like to go deeper on my uh, foundations. On my Norvina palette video, I talked briefly about um, why I go darker and how I go darker without it looking orange or cakey or kind of muddy if it's cool, uh, too cool toned. And so I'm able to go darker because I know my undertone. So my veins and my arm are like blue and green. They're not all blue or all green. They're a little mix of both, which tells me that I'm a neutral shade. If your veins are blue, then you are cool toned, and if your veins are green, then you're gonna be warm toned. And that is so good for people to um, try to change their kind of foundation shade and uh, pick the best one for them. So if you wanna go darker, you can go a couple shades darker as long as you're doing the right undertone. If you have a bunch of dark spots and you are trying to lighten your uh, those a little bit without it looking fake as well and looking almost like a gray cast, if it's too light for the foundation, as long as you go with the right undertone, it should turn out pretty well. Um, and so that's why I got this one originally because I was like, I can go darker, it's okay. Well, backtrack. So then I'm thinking, because these are like kind of universal, these don't have undertones. Uh, this is gonna be one undertone for one skin tone. So I kinda wanna see if I can, um, which one works the best for me. So I think I'm gonna do the dark one on the right side of my face, the lighter one on the left side, and then of course just the concealer, testing out the quality and everything um, on both on both eyes and see if that becomes too light because I did get the pale in this one as well. So I guess, I think I'm, I don't know if I wanna use a beauty blender or, um, I think I'm gonna go with the beauty blender because that's honest, that's what I do most of my foundation with. So this is light medium and 200. And again, this is the darker shade. So I am a little bit nervous to see how this is gonna turn out. I would not be surprised if it turns out orange, but y'all are here with me, so we'll experience it together. So I'm just gonna put it on my beauty blender. Let's see. So it comes out white and it comes out white with gray and black little, um, I think y'all can't really see, but it, it's kind of worrisome, but it comes out white and gray. So let's just, and it says to just keep blending until you find your foundation shade. And if y'all see me looking down, it's because my mirror's right here. And so um, it's a little bit hard to blend into the camera. So let's just see what this turns out to be. Are you supposed to shake this? 
No. Okay, it's just to keep blending because right now this is looking. And this is the darker shade. Did I put on too much? Did I put on too much pink? No freaking way. <gasps> There's no way. Okay, maybe I'm having the same struggle as Jeffree Star, and after time, it's gonna blend out, but as of right now, I'm looking lighter than, okay, do you kinda see that? You see right there, it kinda looks like it's changing a little bit. I don't know, y'all, I don't know. This is looking a little fucked. So I thought I was really white until I put on this one. There's no way, okay. What the hell? I'm, I'm gonna rub it in on my hand and I'm gonna do a tiny amount and see what the hell is going on and see if maybe I used too much and I just jude myself. Okay, so there's that and okay, look at that. Look at that, that is what it's supposed to look like. Do you see that? It still looks a little dark. Okay, let's, I'm gonna rub it in now with a brush and see if that helps because the Beauty Blender clearly didn't rub it. It almost just, uh-huh, there we go. There is some color. Jeffrey, take some pointers from me. Maybe you messed up on yours too. That is a pain in the ass though. And if I do say so myself, it does not have much coverage. Although I'm not gonna lie, I do like the color. After blending this, that is a pretty good color to give me a slight amount of warmth. And again, it might be a little better for me because I am a neutral undertone. I don't know if someone else with a um, cooler um, warm undertone would work maybe just because neutral falls in the middle but okay this looks a lot better um how does it feel it feels kind of velvety to be totally honest I don't after doing that um, I don't hate it um I wonder how buildable it is because as y'all saw with just the um with the just the beauty blender and I was putting on a lot it pretty it just stayed white so um i'm actually gonna just be bold for a second and go in with a little more again this is a review so let's because i do like a medium to full coverage this might be good for you if you are just kind of on the run and just want a quick little dabble in your makeup but this is kind of like adding a step so i don't really know how good that would actually be as opposed to just you know Popping on a BB cream or a powder. Okay, let's see. So, this is actually what I would prefer for my color, I think. I have a feeling the light one is going to be too light because I do like to add a little bit of warmth to my face, not just using bronzer, I like it all over, because I have had a found, oh, okay, a little sticky, because my hair's getting stuck to it. Um, I don't hate it, honestly, it's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of a fun little thing, I think the texture isn't, you know, it stays on the brush, I'm able to drag it down a little bit to my neck. The texture's not bad, it's a little bit tacky when I put it on, when I put on that second layer, it definitely feels sticky. And oh, just so y'all know, I did prime. I used my Makeup Forever, um, what is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, red, oh, whoops. My Makeup Forever anti-redness one. And then I used my Milk Blurring Stick for my T-zone, for my pores. So looking at my pores right now, right here, they actually look pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Um, I don't love the tackiness of this, but I'm thinking maybe with, um, with my, once I put the concealer and I, you know, put powder on, it might make it better. But looking at this, I don't hate it because I feel like it's matching pretty well. Like, am I crazy? Like, no, my ears are really red, so don't even take that into account. Like, 
I'll move this down. So maybe with the lighter one, it'll actually match my neck. I won't have to drag anything down. But right now, I love it. I oh, know that's that's too dramatic. I'm not loving it. It's okay. It's a little tedious, but okay. So now I'm going in with the my best light, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna go straight in. Should I go the beauty blender? No, I'm just gonna go straight in with the brush, and kind of see how this one goes. This one as well comes out as the exact same color. So let's just. Oh, that wasn't much. That wasn't much. Okay, I'm gonna blend this sucker out. Maybe did a little bit much, got a little confident with that. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. This one might actually be too light for me, which is fine. Um, it actually probably matches my skin tone better than the darker side. But like I said, I do like to go a little bit darker. So is it staying true to what it's supposed to do? Yes. But, okay, so can y'all see that this side just looks greasier than this side? Like this side looks, and th this side wasn't like this when I first started. I would have immediately said I hated it. So I don't know if the formula is slightly different, but I don't love how this is um, tackier on this side. It's even tackier, like s severe. And I'm only gonna put on that much because this is like, oh my God, my hair looks ridiculous. Okay, because this side is severely tacky. Do you see that guys? Like, and, um, okay, let's look at my neck. Okay, I'm pretty red right now. I don't know why. I guess I'm getting too heated because I really thought this was going to turn out to be white. But, um, so I got a little stressed. So there's my neck. It's not matching. Um, but again, I'm like a James Charles and I do have a problem with matching my makeup. This is, actually looks better. Yeah, I draw, okay, you know what? Just make it fair so no one says any hate comments. Let me drag it down like I did on this side and see how it turns out. Okay, after sitting there for a second, it is a little bit less tacky, but mm, I don't know. It's weird. It's like, it felt like a different formula on my face. Maybe I should have gone in with the beauty blender first again, but I feel like after I really rubbed it in, there's not a huge difference in color. So that's interesting. I wonder if that's kind of a rip off. Hmm, okay, well, we can go to the final thoughts in a second. So now let's go in with the concealer and that is what I'm, I'm I actually got the shade Pale Light in this. So if it's anything like the foundation, I'm gonna need a very, very small amount on my face. Otherwise, when I'm gonna try to blend it, it's not, going to go anywhere, you know, because this clearly has to be blended out like pretty severely for it to do anything, for it to actually change color, to activate the color. So I'm putting on a small amount and let's pray that I'll not flashback Mary with this. Um, okay, first thoughts. This is a no coverage concealer. Um, literally, um, no, absolutely not. It looks like it's taking off the makeup underneath. That's what it looks like. Do y'all see that? Like, now that the redness is coming through, this is, no, I'm already telling, I already don't like this. Maybe when I set it, it'll be better, but as of right now, there is like, you have to, it's annoying because you have to spread it to be able to activate the color, but then I need more. And so to get, you know, to get any kind of coverage, but the more you use, the wider it is because it's harder to spread. So it's kind of like a rock in a hard place. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Um, yeah, no, did a 
of brighten it, I guess, but I don't want to look brightened and it's like a weird thing. It's like, you can see that I'm brightened, but you can still see my bags and my dark circles. So it's like, what a really weird concept. And again, the edges, do you see that right there? How it really doesn't blend out? I don't like that. I do not like that at all. See right there, look. It's like it took off the makeup that I had because now it's all red right there. And you can still see my veins underneath my eyes. Yeah, this concealer sucks. I'm not using this ever again. It took off the makeup. Foundation, not that bad. The concealer, no. Um, I'm just gonna, again, give it everything and set it. And I'm using my favorite setting powder, which is my Maybelline Fit Me in shade two. The lightest one is a little light for me, especially because I go dark on my foundation. So let's just set this hoe real quick. And while it is setting, I can give y'all my opinions on each. Okay. So again, recap these two. Um, don't love it, don't hate it. Um, is it better than the one Jeffree Star um, used, yes, and I know he paid $25 for it, but I know he also saw it online for $3, but these were $9. Um, so if you really are someone who is just quick on the go and you do want a little bit of color to your face without um, having a lot of coverage and you're just kind of in a rush, then these would actually not be bad for you as long as you just blend it down a little bit to your neck because it's not, it's not terrible and it blends, a little goes a long way, I'll say that. Um, not in the sense of coverage, but again, in the sense of actually co like covering your face, reaching all corners. Um, the one thing that I am confused about is how the light and the medium don't look very different. Am I blind? But to me, they don't look different like at all. So I think if you're anywhere between like a little bit lighter than me to a couple shades darker, either one would work. I would again go with the medium just to give yourself a little bit more warmth because if you're in a rush then you don't want to put on bronzer blah, and do the whole shebang, you know. So these are pretty, you know, not the best foundation, but it's $9. And if you're just looking for a color changing one, this does the job. So, I mean, at first we were a little freaked out. So, but then if you see this beauty blend and then brush it out. So would I recommend these to any makeup person? Not really. This would actually be really fun if you have a kid who is just getting into makeup, a little girl who wants to play. This would be really, really fun for her because these are cheap and it'll be like mag a magic trick for her or your son, I guess, because that's the thing now. Um, the concealer though, no, I'm just, this is a, this is a fat no from me. Um, well, well, hold on again. Let's give it its fair run. Let's wipe off the powder. Um, okay, so I really think that my eyes being lighter underneath now was completely the powder because if you can still see right here, there's a line, I, like right here. Like I blend it out and it still really didn't get much, it's like a sheer but like ghostly. So it's not the best. So um, I would, my grade on these would be a F for the concealer, absolutely. Foundations would probably be a B, you know, like a three star rating, three, four star rating out of five. So alrighty guys, so that is all. Uh, kind of to wrap things up, I hope this video was informative. Uh, just like anything in life, you really don't want to take shortcuts because it doesn't turn out always the best. So if you are having trouble finding your foundation uh, shade or your undertone or anything like that, just go to a Sephora or Ulta or a friend who's a little bit more advanced in makeup and they should be able to help you. Um, but I, again, these are pretty good for on the go. Like I don't hate them, but I don't see me grabbing these as opposed to one of my other favorite foundations just because I am someone who... If I'm doing my makeup, then I'm gonna do it right, you know? But again, these would be good for like a kid that I think it would be fun for a mom to give their child one to kind of start out makeup. Um, so anyway, so I hope y'all enjoyed this and I hope you got all the information you needed and I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of y'all's day. See y'all later.